when hideous creaks in doorless chambers, whenever the air is deadly still. Welcome, foolish mortal, to darkest hour ASMR and entertainment. Hi guys, and welcome to another video with me, Darkest Star. And today's video is going to be a little bit different because I have something that I want to talk to you about in this video and that is the paranormal. Yes, ghosts. Now, most of you who know me know that I am highly into everything spooky, vampires, demons, zombies, poltergeists, you name it. And for years I've been watching sh stuff like ghost adventures, most haunted, things like that. Now I haven't been a, like a hundred percent believer that everything they show is supernatural and shit like that. I have been like, wow, could that be a ghost? Because you know, uh, and especially way, way back, there were like no YouTube, so you just have to like believe the person saying it. But uh, for some years now, I've been actively watching videos from uh, Beardo Get Scared, I think the full channel is, uh, uh, Mr. Grey, mm, the side eyed guy. These are what they call debunkers. And I am so both happy, but also <laughs> sorry, and also a little bit sad because the illusion has cracked totally. Now, what I'm going with this video is that people have to stop believing in everything they see on the internet. These guys that I just mentioned debunks ghost videos like most haunted top. Tens. And they're often a very logical explanation for what you see, or it's fakery, which I think is even worse, especially if you like claim that what you do is real, because it can be hurtful for people who have lost people close by. For me, you know, my uh, interest in the paranormal has always been there, but it grew. 100% after my kid sister died a couple of years ago and I felt everything was like hopeless so I wanted to know is there anything else you know so I binge watched most haunted ghost adventure everything that could give me some hope that there was an afterlife and that everything wasn't just meaningless I will also point out I am not religious in any shape, way or form, <laughs> because for me all religious texts are just that, text written by people to unfortunately suppress, force ideas upon others. I do however, I'm not a hundred percent certain, but I think that we go on when we die. If we become a part of the universe and all the energy and pop up somewhere else or whatever it can be. But I'm a hundred percent sure that I won't get onto a cloud where a guy sits sapping people with lightning or you end up in a boiling hot lava pit because it's come on man. Anyway. Let's go into some of the things that I have learned and things that I have like uh, thought about. First of all, let's start with one thing that's been described as demonic, horrible, uh, horrible, uh, well, Ouija boards. Now I have a Ouija board, I've never got it to work. But something hit me because I was watching a video of this Beardo where he had kind of like he was debunking someone doing like table tipping where they put their hands on a table and it shakes or tips whatever and that then it hit me if it's ghosts 
moving the planchette of the Ouija board <coughs> or tipping this table or doing any other shit, uh, ghost things, whatever. How come you have to keep your fingers on the planchette? I mean, the spirits are in the room, right? So they could be, should be able to move this thing without you. Are they using you as a channel? And if they do, wouldn't your fingers move? Like, it's no reason for you to keep your hands on this little piece of wood when the ghosts are the one who's supposed to move it. Right? And, like, they say, never ask those questions. Now, I'm going to give you a little thing here. Are there any ghosts here? I can't hear anything. Uh, I let the demon into this house. Nope, nothing. However, some people have told me that if you ask questions like that on a Ouija board, it's a disaster. You should never ask those questions on a Ouija board. Why? Just because it's written on a piece of wood? Is it especially dangerous? Because in Sweden we have a saying that's made the devil take me, when you get angry. Um, and no devil has taken me yet. So uh, if it if it, is it different if I like ask with my hands on a Ouija board, may the devil please take me? And then all of a sudden, bang! I grow horns. Of course not. <laughs> so that's my first thing. The second thing is all these ghost hunting teams that enter old buildings. And as soon as they hear something, like... Bro! Bro! Did you hear that? Now, I live in a pretty small house, and it was built in 79, I think. And I hear sounds all the time. Creaking, things dropping on the ceiling because I have a tree outside. Wind from a window that's maybe not closed. Most of these old buildings that they investigate are old. Decrepit buildings. Of course there are going to be sounds. Like, I'm surprised it isn't even more sounds because you probably have a full cellar of rats. So, you know, when these professional ghost hunters are like... Bro, did you hear that? That was a demon. I'm just laughing, because it's so bloody silly, isn't it? <laughs> and another thing that I think is harmful for the paranormal society, or people like me who actually want to believe there is a life after death and th things like that, is the more the fakers fake, the less impact it has, because nowadays even if you were to film a real bloody ghost, I would be like, oh, that's computer generated, oh. And often in these like top 10 videos and shit like that, they don't even put the effort in to voice them. They use AI voice, which, is, which I think personally is poison for art. I don't like AI overall, like AI pictures, because someone like says, oh, look at these AI pictures I made. You're not an artist. You you put in some prompts on a screen and then the computer did the picture for you. I don't call that art. I'm sorry. <coughs> uh, so yeah, the, the only thing they con contribute with is drawing down the whole ghost hunting thing. People who are genuinely interested maybe have ex existential crisis, maybe have lost someone, and they just bombard you with this shit, and I know, don't watch it, because it's crap. But hey, now I, I, I rarely watch ghost hunting videos on YouTube anymore. But sometimes I, I might click on something, you know, that, that's not like these hysterical twins, I don't know, I can't stand them and stuff like that. But sometimes I do it because there's still a little glimmer of hope that something might be genuine. But the more shit I see, 
the less I want to watch it. And I understand these huge channels like Twin Paranormal and whatever they're called, like they have millions of viewers and views and shit. And I, I just can't understand it. What's so? And you know, the evidence these f people claim to catch are minimal. And it's often like someone peeking out from a door, probably their friend. They kind of mask things and put like a, something moving. And another thing. Yeah, the cell phone. I mean, I've been spooked a couple of times by things that I cannot explain. And the first thing I did was panic because I didn't know what happened. The, the first thing that hit my mind wasn't to take out my cell phone and starting to film in directions where I knew something was going to happen. Now, I, I, please continue make your fake ghost videos. But please put a little disclaimer in the beginning, this is for entertainment value because then I wouldn't have a problem with it. But trying to fool people who might be grieving or having existential questions and things like that, that's just mean. So, I wanted to make this little video because I've been binge watching a couple of deb debunkers. I will link them in the comment section below if you want to check them out. I think they're highly entertaining. But uh, don't believe everything you see on the internet. And this might sound like something stupid to say because, hey, you don't believe Batman exists, you know, just because he's on the screen. But the thing with like paranormal channels and stuff like that is they're pretty, some of them are really small. And I think that makes them more believable for some people because it's just you and me and, you know, there's a fellow human. It's not like Harrison Ford or anything, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, what I was hoping to achieve with this video. I wanted to share my opinions on the paranormal and some questions I had about it. Now I'm working really hard on a, uh, shall I say, kind of almost movie-like Halloween special. And it's a lot of things to do, like special effects. I have to like do things that I haven't done before when I'm editing, like putting in sounds where I hope you will like it. I feel like this is going to be my break it or win video because if this one doesn't do well, I, I don't think I have the energy to do anything like this again. But anyway, wherever you are in the world, I want you to have a relaxing day, night or whatever. There can't be any light without darkness. Don't believe in everything you see on the internet. Peace out. We'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Come to me, don't be afraid, you will do as I say.